Hello guys and welcome to windowsreport.com. So when you update or upgrade your Windows operating system, Windows will automatically check for programs and other soft to see if they're compatible with the programs that you already have installed on your system. So sometimes when you try to update your Windows, Windows will find out that you have some programs that are not compatible with the new update. So you'll get an error message saying some apps need to be uninstalled or you need to uninstall a program in order to continue. Continue. So in this video, I'm going to show you a few solutions to solve this problem. Firstly, you can look for the incompatible programs yourself. Maybe Windows will automatically warn you about the program that is not compatible with the update. And you can just go to the control panel and uninstall it. To uninstall a program, you just have to go on the search box and then type in there control. Click on control panel to open the old control panel. And in control panel, you're going to have to go to programs and features. And here in programs and features, you can select a program and click on uninstall. So that's how you uninstall a specific program. Another good thing you should try to solve the problem would be to install the Windows update in the clean boot. So what that means, it means Windows will boot up only using the official services and not any other services installed by you or maybe installed by other users on the PC. To do a clean boot and try doing the update from there, you have to open the run command. And you can do that by holding the Windows plus R keys at the same time. Here in the run box you're gonna have to type in msconfig and then press enter here in msconfig you're gonna have to go here to selective startup and uncheck load startup items and only check load system services and then click on apply and then you're gonna have to go to services and click on hide all Microsoft services and then you have to select all and then click on disable all and again apply and okay after you do a restart Windows will boot up in the clean boot state so you should try do the update then and see if the problem is now solved lastly you can try to create a new user account that could help because creating a new user account will automatically reset the settings from your Windows operating system. To create a new user account, you're going to have to click on the start menu and then go on to settings. In the settings window, you're going to have to go to accounts and then go to family and other people and then click on add someone else to this PC. And then Windows will walk you through a setup where you can uh, create a new user account. And next time when you open your PC, you should sign in to the new user account and see if you can do the updates from there. So I'm hoping after watching this video you managed to solve the problem and the error message is not appearing anymore. So this was the video guys don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads. Also don't forget to leave a comment down below with problems that you have on your Windows operating system and we can try to solve your issue in the next video. Until next time have a nice day.